Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we've had quite a lot of new um, subscribers come over, so thank you very much. I'm really, really happy to have you here. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'll start off with who I am, shall I? <laughs> my name's Diane and I'm coming to you from the West Midlands where I live with my partner, Richard. Today is the 29th of September and it's Yarndale weekend and I'm very, very sad that I've missed it this year. I had to work yesterday and because um, because I worked yesterday, I've really only got today um, to do and catch up and make this vlog. <laughs> but um, yeah, back to work again tomorrow. So it's not, I don't like to, I always go on a Saturday if, if when when we do Yarndale because I like the Sunday to like just recover and look at what I've bought but unfortunately not this year but I am looking forward to seeing all of your hauls on Instagram and your comments and the vlogs and the podcasts <laughs> that other people have done so yeah looking forward to that um, I've got my coffee almost gone. <laughs> this time, by the time I've got the light right, I mean, last time I had a couple of comments about the light and I really do apologise about the light. It is October in the UK. It's very overcast and dull again today. So I've shifted around. I'm usually in front of the patio window. So now I'm opposite the patio window and you're you've got the light coming through so it should be a little bit better today i do apologize for the last video um so grab your drink that's mine finished <laughs> um and we'll get into some stuff um i've got three projects um for, I've got five projects on the go at the moment. Um, one's a new cast on. Two of them are socks. One's my sock. The um, I'm calling it the whole lot of rosy sock because it's in my own hand dyed whole lot of rosy yarn, and it's just a vanilla sock um, that I know will fit me. Um, but I'm not going to show you that because I haven't done any on it. <laughs> The other one is Richard's socks, and I haven't really done much on those um, this week either. So there's probably a couple of inches progress on that. So um, because we've got um, the giveaway, gift away, <laughs> I'm taking a leaf out of um, Kirsty and Tracy's book, and we're going to call it a gift away because it sounds a little bit better. Um, and it is for my third podiversary, which was on the 25th of September. Um, yeah, <laughs> three years doing this and I've still got no better. I'm still a rubbish vlogger. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we've, I'm going to draw that today. We've had quite a few entries. I've got a list in front of me here, but we're going to ask to draw as a number later on so um i'll do some um i'll do my finished object first because i have got one then i'll do my uh, works in progress then we'll do the giveaway the gift away <laughs> and then um i've got a little bit of shop update that's going into the shop next weekend it's not in there yet but I just thought I'd give everybody on here a heads up as well as Instagram usually gets the whole heads up, you see, before it goes in. So I thought I'd give everybody here a, a heads up as well. And any of the um, yarns that I do show, if you want bigger quantities, I usually put small quantities into the Etsy shop. But if you do want sweaters quantities, just drop me a message below um, or drop me a message on my Etsy shop and um, we can sort that out for you. So without further ado, I've finished 
the Broken Wing Shawl by Hokey Locatelli. Um, and I love it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, it's a one skein shawl, although I do have um, probably about 20 grams, 25 grams, something like that left of yarn. Don't know why. No, I do know why. I was a little bit confused by the pattern when it got so far through. So, there is it. I'm part of the pattern. I'm, I can't show you the pattern because it's a pay for pattern. But when you finished all of the increases down to there, where it says two, um, it says work rows five to 20 again. And then underneath that, it says you should now have 103 stitches. Now, when I got to that stage before I read work rounds 5 to 20 again, I already had 103 stitches. And if I'd have carried on, I'd have, I think I'd have had another nine stitches or something after the increases. So that wouldn't have worked out in the pattern. So it may have done, I don't know, because you're just doing the same repeat again, aren't you? But anyway, I didn't work rounds five to 20 again but I don't think it's made any difference to how it looks because it's still quite a big shawl um I don't know if anybody else has had I know Kelly from Row Row and Cades had a little bit of um bother with this pattern and it's a beautiful pattern it's no um I love Hokies um patterns they're always really well written but I just didn't understand when I got to that stage, I'd already got 103 stitches on my needle. So it didn't make sense to do another repeat of those stitches and have even more. Now it's blocked out beautifully and it's in my own hand dyed yarn, which is Turtle Beach on, on, oh, which bag do I have it in now? I do have the ball band still. Is this the one? No. It's okay, I've put another project into the bag that I was using. So I can't remember which bag it was now. Just talk amongst yourself, it would be alright. I'll be with you in a second. Um, is it this one? Turtle Beach. And it is 70% baby alpaca, 20% mulberry silk, and 10% cashmere. And it's the softest, softest thing you've ever seen. I said I was going to use this for work. I'm not going to use this for work. I'll wreck it. But look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? The lace has opened up beautifully. You've got all those pico edges on the end there as well. I'll put a picture of it in here um, so that you can see it. In all its glory. This is my favourite bit. With a little tassel on the end. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But I absolutely am in love with it. And I'm not sure. I haven't actually put it on yet. There we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't it lovely? And then you've got that little tasty bit there. Oh, I love it. Oh, I think I might keep it on, actually. It's quite chilly today. Yep, so that is the Broken Wing Shawl by Hokey Locatelli. All done, all finished. Blocked beautifully. I did have to 
use two lots of blocking mats um, to get the length because it's really really long um, I think it should be a, a shape where it comes down like that and then goes across like that where the wind bit is there but I'll put a picture anyway of it out I think I've got one somewhere <laughs> but yeah that is Broken Wing Shore by Loki Ho Hokey Locatelli. <laughs> I'm making names up here. <clears throat> I just changed her name. Okay, so then we have, let me just pop that there. The Irene Scarf 2 by Samantha Renwick. Okay. And I'm loving this as well. Um, I haven't worked much on it this week because I was finishing off. I wanted something off the needles. But I have done a little bit since you last saw it, but I still haven't put a marker in there. So I will try and remember to put the stitch marker in. And I'm using... my own hand dyed yarn um, one is called Dell and the other one is called I can't remember <laughs> I'll pop it below um, I think that one's called Dell no I can't remember They're beautiful and they're so soft and it's knitting up really really well there we go that's look at those lace lace is gorgeous i think the two colors go really well together so i'm i'm doing the um stockinette not stockinette that stitch <laughs> in the, the Dell colour and the lace in the other one. Um, I may just carry on and do all the rest of it now in this colour. Um, but we'll see. But we'll see. But yeah, I'm loving that. That is such a lovely pattern. So well written. Really easy to follow. Um, a nice one for the winter. And if you've got some autumn colours... Um, it looks stunning in the autumn colours. Um, everything that I'll talk about, I'll pop in the um, I'll pop in the comments at the bottom. I don't think there's a big picture of it. And like I said last time, you get three three different scarves with this pattern. Um, I still haven't bought the others out. They're in a folder over there. Um, where I will try and remember to pull them out for next time. But that's the Irene Scarf 2 by Samantha Renwick. And if you're looking for a scarf, you couldn't pick a better one. It's beautiful. Beautiful to knit. My next whip is the Drift Tone Lace Beret from Plymouth Yarn. And I think I need, I think I'm going to have to rip this back and start again because the pattern is written all over the place. I, I've just had, I've had so much problems trying to find out where I'm supposed to start in this pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it's, it looks gorgeous so far. Um, I don't know if you can, if you can see there we go. Oh. See the lace? And there's obviously you. But I may have to rip it back to there because um, I will, I can show you the pattern because it's a free pattern on Ravelry anyway. So um, it starts off telling you all about um, 
the materials and everything then it tells you the first lot of stitches the first eight rows of stitches and then it tells you the decrease chart and then here it says begin so i read it through i did read it through and i thought right okay so does it want me to do these eight rows here but it doesn't make sense that it goes straight into a decrease so clearly that's not that's not right so well, i've looked at it again this morning because it says begin by casting on the stitches and what needle to cast them on and then on the second page it says increase round increase round and then it tells you to go into this pattern so many times and then do the decreases it's very very vague of where you need to go so i think i don't know whether to rip it back to the big the end of the ribbon and then start again on the second page and do the increase rounds or was it right that I should have done those eight rows first and then go over the page and do the increase rounds because it doesn't make sense to go straight to the decrease so I don't know I'm flabbergasted um and if the patterns by Plymouth Yarn, now that they have got a website on there, I, push, I should probably go on there and have a look on there. But if anybody's knit this pattern, I've never done a beret before. So any help would be gratefully received. Um, but I'm guessing, would it hurt to leave those eight rows in and then now start the, de the increases? Because if you look... At the, hat, the actual hats there, those don't look as if they've been de increased first. The second round of look like they've been increased. So I don't know. What would you do? If you've got any comments or any help or advice, <laughs> please do let me know below because um, I'm absolutely flummoxed. But that is what I've got so far. Um, which way when does it go that way? And I have to say, I, I do like it. Hang on. There we go. It does look lovely. I suppose I'll work it eventually. But anyway, watch this space for that one. Um, there's the knitting bag for this and this is living in one of my handmade project bags and I've had quite a while now so what have we got next we've done that one we've done that one oh I've got a brand new cast on so I've had this one in my Ravelry not in the library in the um favourites for quite some time now um it's the cellular top or jumper or it just says cellular s-e-l-j-a cellular cellular it's just a simple um just knit Top down, raglan, and I am doing it in my own hand dyed DK, and it's really, really soft. It's beautiful, it's like butter. 
so that's where I've got so far. Um, what have I got to say about this? Well, it's just, I'm still increasing on the raglans at the moment. Let me just, there we go. So, as you can see, there are the raglan increases. There. And there. Okay. And it's going to, now I'm making size three. I don't know if that's going to be like, once it's blocked, whether it's going to hang off the shoulder or, I don't know. I have to be honest, I'm not impressed with it so far. Um, it's just a little bit boring. <laughs> but I do like the top. Um, I do like the way it hangs and I'd like something. See, it comes to the end of her shoulders, if you look. So maybe, maybe I'm not knitting the wrong size. Maybe it's right, maybe it's correct. I just like, I just like the way it's, uh, it's so simple. Um, Richard dyed this colour for me. Um, I wanted a grey and it's kind of a blue grey, which is lovely. I love the colour. Maybe once I've got split for the sleeves, I'll fall back in love with this a little bit more. <laughs> But um, yeah, watch this space for this one as well, because this might end up being something else eventually. I do want to progress. I do want to carry on with it, and and I am going to carry on with it. I'm going to carry on with it. I'm going to split for the sleeves, um, and see what happens. See if I fall back in love with it. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Um, and it comes in extra small, small, medium, large, extra large and 2XL. So it's a lovely staple for your wardrobe um, for the winter. I imagine, I mean, on the pattern it says to hold a finger in white and a lace together. I didn't want to do that. I've just I've just picked a DK and asked Richard, can you make me a nice colour? <laughs> because he makes some lovely colours. So yeah. We shall see. And there uh, I have two more. Two more of those. I did have them in cakes, but I had yarn bath with this first one. <laughs> so he, he sat there, bless him, um, one of the nights in the week after work, and he just rewound <laughs> all of them for me. And they're all in here in my Mrs. D bag. Stitched my Mrs. D bag. I love that bag. It gets a lot of use. So, yep, yeah, that's my new cast on. Um, tell me what you think. I don't think I'm knitting the wrong size because it is, it is, it does look like it comes to the end of your shoulders, but I don't like things that slip off. Um, I want it to stay there, but it may well, it may well. We'll see. And that is everything. Wow, we've got through that quickly, haven't we? That's all my knitting. Oh, I've got a stitch marker there. I'll put that on shortly. Right, okay. So, the gift away. Okay, so I've had quite a lot. I, I did have quite a lot of responses. Thank you all. Anybody who commented on what sock, sock patterns you love, I have a page full of sock patterns that I'm just going to go and look at now. <laughs> like I say, there are quite a lot of lovely ones. So let me just refresh your memory on what the gift away was. It's for my third podiversary. It's all 
living in this bag ready to be shipped out to one lucky person. Oh, I wish it was me. I'm so silly. Okay, so we've got one skein of Unikite. My hand dyed Unikite. Uh, 75 25 superwash merino and nylon on a four ply base and we have the easter parade sock set 220 gram minis 100 gram skein and that's on 25 75 25 superwash merino as well and that's that one. Boom. And then this lovely My Handmade project bag with a zip. Stripy lining in blue. Carry handle. Two very generous deep pockets. There we go. Okay, so without further ado, ignition detected at the front door. Sorry about that. She's connected to the ring doorbell. <laughs> so every time somebody comes near the house, that's what we get, which can be very annoying. Okay, so we'll uh, ask our electronic friend <laughs> to pick a number. Where's my notes? Between. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 41. Here's a number between 1 and 41. It's 5. 5? And whose number? 5. So I've got all of your... Um, I've got you all written down over my lists. Number five is Yarn Taxi 2176 Jan with two N's. That's Yarn Taxi 2176 Jan with two N's. J-A-N-N. So Jan, congratulations. Thank you for your comment and uh, I'll put my email address down below. If you, if you can send me your um, address on an email or if you're on Instagram, send me a personal message, PM me with just your address um, and I can get those off into the post to you. So congratulations. Thank you for taking part, everybody. Um, we'll do another one of these because I really like doing it. <laughs> maybe, maybe around Christmas time. Um, we can do another one and uh, yeah I've got some new bags coming into the shop as well so so that is the gift away going back into the bag ready to go off to our Jan oh it's so exciting um, okay and that's everything for this week um, I'm just going to do my little shop, show my little shop update for next weekend. So if you were here just for the podcast, thank you so much for joining me. You're always very welcome. And please leave me a comment and tell me what you're up to. Um, I love to read them and see what you're doing. And it gives me ideas and inspiration as well. So thank you. Okay, so next Saturday will be the shop update on the Etsy shop. Um, we've got one, two, three, five new yarns going in. There will be more project bags, but the ones that I've got here um, are what will definitely be in there from next on next weekend. Um, but through this week, I'm going to try and do a couple more and get those in there as well. Okay. So this is Firefox. And this is on 2575 Superwash Merino and Nylon. And it's on four ply. 
those colours. Oh, I love these colours for autumn. I just love autumn colours. Okay, so that's that one. We have um, coral bells. That's actually look a bit darker than what it's showing on the screen. Reds don't come out very well on the screen, do they? And that's the same. Four ply, 25, 75, superwash merino and nylon. Very soft. And like I said at the beginning, if you need any sweater quantities, just drop me a message on the Etsy shop or on here. This one is, sorry, Surprise Star. And look at those autumn colours. Oh, I love it. Looks like the leaves on the garden. <laughs> four ply, these are all four ply 7525 superwash merino. This one, well, these next two were inspired by a lovely friend who asked for them. And uh, thanks to you, they'll be going into the shop and they will be. Um, colours that will be going forward recreating because oh, they're lovely I love them this is called the Grinch isn't that gorgeous look at those colours I can only imagine what that's going to knit up like micro striping I think and I've already seen this one it's starting to be knit and uh, it's beautiful, micro striping. And this is called the Mowage from the Princess Bride. The Mowage. And this was actually named by the lady who asked for it as well. So thank you very much for that. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, I love it. Next, we have a. I've only just finished this this morning. <laughs> so, this is a drawstring bag in pigeons. I think it's 12 by 12 or 10 by 12, something like that, anyway. That is. little drawstring bag beautiful pigeon material or birds material whatever you'd like to call it three birds one two three okay this one i absolutely love i'm in love with this i, I really want one of these myself <laughs> okay this is the sheep bag. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but by the time it gets to the Etsy shop, it will have a name. Um, detachable handle, as always. Um, okay, full length zip, matching zip. It's got calico lining inside. To match the calico on the pockets, two, two deep pockets on the front, and the sheep all kind of match on the pockets as well. There we go, and that's the back. Okay, and that is, I think it's around thirteen by thirteen by thirteen, something like that. But it's one of our bigger project bags anyway and the next one is the last one at the moment like I say there will be some more I finished this one last night <laughs> and this is Little Oaks bag I think I'll be calling it Little Oaks anyway um two pockets oh, I've got a pin in there 
lucky I put my hand in there, somebody would have been getting a pip. Okay, box to bottom as usual, and that's the back. Detachable handle, full length zip, and calico lining and calico lined pockets. Very thick. Make a nice quilt. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Oh, it matches my scarf as well. <laughs> Should we try for a thumbnail like that? Shall we? Just hold it there for a second. Anyway, that's everything so far that I've got made to go into the Etsy shop next week. On the 5th of, Saturday the 5th of October at 7pm. So if you are interested in any of those, pop along on the 7th or drop me a message. Uh, any of the bags, if you want them in a smaller size, we can do that. Um, I've bought a little bit more of the two materials, three materials, those three materials than I'd normally buy because they're normally one-offs. But I love them so much. I think everybody else, all you guys are going to love them as well. <laughs> so I'm going to make more than one of those and that's it thank you so much for joining me um you're always always welcome please do leave me some comments below let me know what you're knitting on crocheting on weaving on spinning on <laughs> we do a little bit of everything here it's all all crafts are welcome um i've actually got a little cross stitch in the uh in the drawer to <laughs> to do but I might, I might do that with my grandson because he's starting to like his little crafts at the minute so yeah that's everything please leave me some comments like and subscribe if you've liked the video and thank you i'll see you on the next one bye